Hello everyone! What, what? This LP really grinches me. As we go to the new area, which is a minefield. Okay, sure. Nah, well, well maybe, maybe so. Also, cool music as always. Yeah. I didn't think the Who's were particularly uh, warlike people. Uh, this is more in keeping with the um, the dump guardian who, you know, is you know wants to keep people out and stuff like that. Okay, I thought we, I thought it was just to further the Metal Gear Solid comparisons. <laughs> we don't get a mind detector in this game. We just gotta just avoid all of it. So it was also a good opportunity to show exactly how eggplants grow. They will grow as much as they're on the screen, and they uh. will get additional like plants and also do, like increase the amount. The maximum amount you can get from uh, them is five. So this is a pretty good place to grind it out because, you know, I have been quite low throughout the entire game because I haven't really been all that bothered about my mount. It didn't seem that important, to be honest. So. Yeah. And we also need to hit this thing properly. Because we need to traverse this area. And this is about as far as I got when I was a kid because this was really hard to my, you know, <laughs> feeble mind. And also I didn't see that those um, things, these mattresses, were above. So I kind of uh, just yeah, I can I can see how that might be more of a problem. Yeah, so I didn't really have to do this. So I was kind of stuck. So from here on out is basically where I it is is just all new to me. <laughs> but however, okay. Max isn't affected by the minefield, so I at least got to explore this area somewhat. I just <laughs> could, I just couldn't go there with the Grinch. You shouldn't Grinch anything over here. I can I can make Grinch jokes too. Yep. So you can get to uh, some areas just by double jumping in the same way that the Bug's Life was. They are, they are fairly similar in that way, weirdly enough. Yeah. I was... I was thinking this area kind of reminded me of it, but much because it's free, it's a free platformer and kind of bad. Mm. This dump anyway. My heart is like a but you promised me good things in this episode, so... Yeah. As I do like this area. Just cause I mean, I'll, tr I'll, I'll trust you. For now. And also, there's a minefield right there, as you can put in the way, so... And also, we saw the um, blueprint clip for the uh, things, so I knew that was around there. But don't worry, Ooh. because I do miss a blueprint. <gasps> oh no. And also, scissors. You shouldn't run with first. Sorry. Scissors. <laughs> you still shouldn't run with them. Chris, no, you're telling a terrible example for children. I know. So one of the tasks we need to do is to uh, trim the uh, gatekeeper of, uh, you know, Dump Guardian. And I didn't realise this would send me all the way back to the start. Oh, wow. Because I I'd, I'd actually just jumped on the thing and I didn't really realise. So uh, there we go. Cut. Did he ha does he have a straight-up shotgun, by the way? Um, I think it's a blunderbuss. That's, that's better. Yeah, which is, you know, more comical, of course. <laughs> Uh, hmm. Let me just check my Grinchy reflection. Oh god, Grinch is a vampire. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Never go, we a, have... That is a hell of a shirt texture. We have ruined Christmas or, or something. I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, there was a blueprint in that um, uh, house, which I uh, didn't... Which I, which I didn't pick up. But don't worry. I think just for a few seconds. I'm sure we'll go back for it. Yep. Or maybe we'll just spare us that and we'll just say, Hey, mm -hmm. that was the thing. Oh, are we at maximum isn't 99? No, it's it's uh, 200. Ah. I, how long have we been above 100? I just hadn't noticed. Yeah, this is the first time we've ever gone even close to that up there. So. Okay. Yeah, you can use Max to explore a little bit, you know, that's how you can also pick up a couple of blueprints if you're, you know, really not sure about this thing. And you can go all the way up right next to the uh, Forest Guard. Uh, I keep on saying Forest Guardian. What kind of... What, what game am I referencing here? I have no idea. I don't know, but drunk yards aren't forests. Hmm. I've learnt this in my time. Yeah. So, in a, in a little later bit, I come here and pick up the uh, missing blueprint. So, at the start of next video, we'll construct the octopus climbing device. Okay, cool. That was, um, yeah. yeah. So that's all we can really do in the dump for the moment. Um, but once we do the Oxford Climb device, we can go back. But uh, let's go back to previous levels and do a couple of new areas. 
Oh my. It's, we're getting all, we're getting some backtracking done, are we? Yeah, basically. I mean, next video, we do the final level, and that's only like halfway through the game. There's still quite a lot of backtracking to do, because there's lots of new areas we can go to now that we have all various amounts. But this is before I got the Octopus Climbing Device, because I didn't realise I'd missed the uh, blueprint. Sure. So, I, mean, I, I understand the, time, the timeline. Mm -hmm. So we're so, going to head to our next task, which is to change the countdown clock. Oh yeah, I remember. It still says me. 30 hours, but we can also we can slime a policeman and get present from him. Don't wake nice. him up though. I think he's awake. Maybe. Like, I, he, I don't think he can breathe, but I think he's awake. Mm. Music is cool. Hmm. So how are we going to unlock that thing? The hmm. music makes you think that um, it will be a caper. Uh, pretty much, but um, it's actually gear puzzles. Oh. Oh, oh. Lever gear puzzles. But don't worry, I basically did freeze in my practice run and then wrote down which levers to do in order, so I do them pretty easily. But, yeah, I didn't look... Um difficult at all. Yeah. They get harder as it goes on, obviously. Oh, oh, that wasn't really, oh. No. Well. No. <laughs> well. Hmm. So, um, I'm trying to make, I'm trying to think of a good Castlevania joke to make, but I've got, I've kind of got nothing. Oh well, I mean, these, these puzzles aren't really all that difficult. I mean, when I first played the game, I was in here for literally hours because I didn't really know how to do things. But yeah, I, I don't, I, 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 it's, it's pretty simple once you know what you're doing. The same can be applied to every video game ever, but detailed, detailed. <laughs> When you write down the solutions to the puzzles, puzzles aren't difficult. Yeah, pretty much. So... Hmm. That's just is what happens when, um, you know, it doesn't really work. It just... It just it tells you what to do, uh, so you can see what gears are rotating and which aren't. And then ah, once right. you get that cutscene, then you know you've done it right. Yeah. Oh, block pushing and gear puzzles. Yep. It's, <laughs> it's a cornucopia of... Mm, this area definitely is fairly fun. It's just a real hassle when you first do it. And this is the uh, really difficult one. I think it isn't every wall. Um, pretty much, yeah. Huh. That does look kind of, um, troublesome. It's relatively simple, mainly because there's only four levers and they do fairly limited things. So it's not really that bad. Okay, yeah, I can see how that would simplify matters. So, hmm. So you need to do that and also make that uh, gear turn out. Okay. Oh man, that could have been that could be annoying if you don't realise that. Yeah, basically. So it's kind of weird the way this puzzle is laid out because three of the levels only do one wall. So then. Oh right, they don't do one wall each. They all do the same wall. Yeah. yeah. But then that uh, gear isn't rotating, and I wonder why that is. Hmm. What can we do about that one? Shoot it, punch it, etc. Yeah, that is um, something I wish I'd figured out uh, <laughs> when I first played this game because I had no idea. I had to look on Game Facts and I was to figure out what you had to do. You basically just have to push it. You see, you're not thinking like a Grinch. I know. A Grinch. But yeah, I, I just, I just could not figure out what to do. So I spent, I, sp I think I spent like nearly an hour in here. Just going, what the fuck? Until the next year, I just there were a couple of times I went onto Game Facts to understand what the hell was going on. So I think that's everything. It looks about yeah. There we go. Yep. We're gonna say it looks right. So. Okay, and that was the third hardest one. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. What? I, I actually I believed you completely there. <laughs> hmm, coloured bells, a hole for Max to go into. Oh, nice little uh, flat 2D background. 
Or a mount trumpet. And also... Bring, bring me back that thing. A hammer. Oh. And some stuttering audio. Mm. It worked fine for when it was actually in the um, in the game. Yeah. But yeah, so that's that's a I guess picture. You, shoot, you ring the bells in the order of that picture. Yes, basically. So I just, know artists. So you I just can remember. Puzzles. And then if you could actually shoot them, but doing it this way is much more comical. <laughs> I can't remember the order at all. It's fine. I, I, I just I, it's, it's the same in every single game. So yeah. They only had enough to make one texture. <laughs> so there we go, and now we head into the real countdown clock itself. Oh god. And this, I have to say, is probably one of my favourite cutscenes. Mainly just because of how the camera works. Okay. Just the way the music is going on, the way the camera moves, and the way the Grinch sneaks. I, I, I just like it for some reason. <laughs> Take this. I think you broke his brain. Pretty much, yeah. So now there's only three hours until Christmas. The Grinch is a master of time. Grinched. Pretty much. So... The Grinch is a master of time. Yeah. That is, we're ruining Christmas somehow. I think we're starting to lose the idea a bit. <laughs> he just—he hasn't really got a, a filtering process. He's trying every idea he's got. Mm. So we need to come back in here and also get a blueprint anyway. Yeah. That's a blueprint that I think I missed the first time I played through this game. Because the game just shoves you out. And there we go, that is it for this area. We've completed the task of changing the countdown clock. So is that everything in Whoville or...? Um, I think so, yeah. Huh, well. We will be coming back here probably once or twice just for a couple of extra things. But otherwise, right. yeah, we have completed most all the main tasks in Whoville. That's like a fifth of the game. Mm hmm. We're going at a great pace, I think. Yeah, I think so. In this part five of like, 12. <laughs> Don't tell them, though. I don't know how many parts we've got left to go. Well, we know how many videos there are left until Christmas, so... Oh, yeah, we've got, we have a schedule now. Yeah, we can deduce. So we're back in Who Forest because there is something we can do now we have the slime shirt. We could have done this earlier, but I figured just I'm best do it now. Well, we can consolidate all about tracking down into one. Yeah. So yeah, slime the bees. Yep, it's... <laughs> okay. And breaking the chest gives us the cable car access, allowing us to go to a new area. Ooh. Ooh. I take it we're going to the top of the mountain? Uh, yep. I, I know about cable cars. Mm -hmm. like that, my... that is what cable cars do, yep. That is my area of expertise. Yep. Sometimes they go down as well. Well, only because they're gone up. Yeah. Please post your favourite cable car in the thread. Yeah, do that. <laughs> Guess in the Christmas spirit. A, a cable car's Christmassy? They do Christmassy things. Do they? They help you get towards Christmassy places. Christmas equals snow, basically. <laughs> I mean... Mm, mm. Mm. There was a snow footprint inside the cable car itself because it's got the same texture. <laughs> Are we going skiing? So yeah, now we've got these assholes. And when you're actually looking at them through the thing, they actually move closer towards you, the little bastards. Ah. But they're fairly easy to deal with. <laughs> also cool music. Yeah, not bad. So are we going skiing? No? Unfortunately not. Oh. There is no skiing for the Grinch. But we are here to slime the mayor's skis. <laughs> Which will possibly call him to go careering out of control and probably kill him, but we don't we don't do any of that nonsense here. Of you know I sense. I feel like there's a lot of murderous intent behind the Grinch's actions, just never really pans out. Yeah. 
Which, I mean, I guess that's good. Go, Max. Even if we are technically rooting for the Grinch. The Grinch is is, is a kind soul. Go. He uh, he does things for the best of intentions. Also, behind here, there's just presents. Who gives a shit? Seriously. <laughs> The completionists in the, the completionists are just so angry. Yeah. With you. Not with me. I'm, this isn't my fault. I was looking down that way because I've actually fallen through the level over there. Uh, just <laughs> a bit of experimentation trying to find all the presents because this is where I found the last present in the entire game of 100 percent vial. Ah. It's I think it's that one that was just on the screen for a second. The one behind the little ridge. Hmm. So that was annoying as hell because I just could not find it until Michelle just looks up and oh there it is. <laughs> cool. So are we only here to slime the skis? Uh pretty much, yeah. That's what side areas do, they just go towards one yeah, specific just, task. Just one objective. Also, that icicle does a lot. Wow, yeah, that's <laughs> the Grinch is gonna say fuck this and go home. Mm. So yeah, I don't know what these are. They didn't do anything, they just block your access from going down the slope. You can never remove them, they're just there. I don't I don't get it. Okay. I'm I, just, I'm I mean, it looks, it looks kind of like a cannon, but that doesn't seem right. Mm. So, guarding the uh, skis is a very large dog. We can deal with the dog. Dog fight. Uh, unfortunately, no, he doesn't actually do anything with Max. Oh. That would be a bit like a leash and Easter equivalent, like, I don't know, sneak feature or something like dogs do. Mm. This little kid, he freaking snipes me! Oh man! It's so there we go, game over! <laughs> that's it. That's, that's, it, all, that's, the, it. that's all the game over does. It just sends <laughs> you back to the start of, uh, start of the area. <laughs> Fuck this, I'm going home. Ah. So yeah, it's it's really not a big deal. No, death has no consequence. No. <laughs> just, like, just like that other game that came out recently. Mm -hmm. I won't name. Yep. We can have to name it, because I have no idea what you're talking about. It's Sonic Boom. Oh, of course. Toy to be topical. <laughs> it's for Christmas. Consider a copy of Sonic Boom. Hmm. The 3DS, ver the 3DS version, gift. because as it's not as bad. Isn't it? The 3DS version is a very good not Sonic game. <laughs> as opposed to the Wii U version, which is a bad and also not a Sonic game. Hmm. But con yeah, consider a copy for your friends or loved ones this Christmas. Yeah. Or enemies. I mean, when you have a, an, an exploration bar percentage in your Sonic game, you're doing something very wrong. Well, I mean, there's always, like, elements of exploration, but it was normally to go faster. Hmm. Well, we just fucked that dog up, huh? Yeah, you can dump snow on him when he stands at three specific points, and there we go. Okay. No, that time was yeah, Grinch for sure. Mm. He probably says that every single time, but I don't care because no, I've, 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 I've it's been, a bare Fred title. I've been keeping, I've been keeping track. Mm. He's been saying yeah, Grinch to a bunch as well. All right, okay. I don't know. Don't worry, I got you. I got you back. I'm watching out. It's a shame because I do kind of wish I'd named the Fred. This Fred really Grinches me. <laughs> yeah, he always asks for ask someone to change it. Nah, I like it as it is now. It's cool. <laughs> So yeah, invisible wall. So that's really about it. We can all we can do in this area. Okay. So that was just the customary end of video walk back to the mountain. Yeah, sounds good. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It means I spend more time with you. I'll I'll defer to you as LP leader. Yeah. So see you in the next one. Stay Grinchy. Mm. I'm I'm gonna keep saying it. Yeah.